we've been through all the different panels that belong to the Chrome Developer Tools. So in this video, what I want to do is just finish off by going through some of the settings. So if you go to the right hand side, you'll see this nice little settings icon. Give that a click. And I'll tell you what, if we expand this up, we can see a lot more settings on the page. What we have is different groups of settings that you can turn on and off that match your own needs. So for example, we can disable cache. So instead of having to remember to do the control shift R for a full hard refresh, we can make it to a hard refresh by default. We can also disable JavaScript to see what our websites look like without any JavaScript running. And over on the right hand side, you can see some more JavaScript settings and CSS settings that you can set, play around with and see what suits you best. There are lots of settings in here. Some are just personal preference, the look and feel. Some actually do specific actions, such as the rendering down here. It shows us a little graph representing the actual frames per second when we're moving around the screen. So if I turn that on, I'll show you that one. Let's bring this down so we, we can see it. Let's do force accelerated composition then we'll turn on frames per second meter and you can see at the top right the different speed settings of the screen now we don't have much going on in this web page do we so let's go back to my website and then we'll see these uh, these metrics updating there we go as it's loading in We've also, as we move down, got different settings for the console. And over on the left hand side, we can have a look at some more options. We've got overrides, workspaces, and shortcuts. And to be honest, the general and shortcuts is probably what you'll refer to most. And shortcuts are just the shortcut keys for all the different panels if you become a keyboard wizard. So that's it, that concludes this course introducing us to the Chrome developer tools. Hope you found it useful and you will definitely find these tools useful when developing your own web pages and web applications.